White House economic officials have offered so many mixed messages on those talks with China this week. Remember yesterday, Secretary R Wilbur Ross of the Commerce Department said they're miles and miles apart. Treasury Secretary Mnuchin said later in the day that they're making a lot of progress. But one point has become clear that without enforceable promises on intellectual property violations, there will not be a deal. President Trump reinforced that position yesterday and said he's actually happy with the money that the U.S. is currently making off of tariffs. We're charging tremendous tariffs now, and they go up as of March 1st, very substantially. I think China would like to make a deal, would like to make a deal. I like exactly where we are right now, to be honest with you. We're very happy. We have billions of dollars coming into our Treasury, billions, from China. We never had 10 cents coming into our Treasury. Now we have billions coming in. But if we can make a deal, that'll be great on intellectual property and theft and all of the other things we're talking about, in addition to taxes themselves. So everyone's trying to glean what exactly this means for next week's meetings with the Chinese when their delegation comes to Washington. NEC Director Larry Kudlow said yesterday, though, that next week's meetings aren't the end of the game for those talks. Of course, that March 1st deadline is potentially a very big deal, bigger than next week, because those tariffs go up. Now, some officials in the White House, though, have now begun raising concerns about how close that March 1st deadline is to the mid-February report that is due on auto tariffs. The administration could now decide to delay that auto tariffs report or the implementation of those tariffs, citing the shutdown, so that those two potentially market-moving events are staggered. We're still waiting for any official decision, Kelly, on whether that will be the case, but certainly they are aware of these deadlines on the horizon and uh, the potential impact on stocks.